Darlings, listen, this is Jake Cohen, the Jake Cohen, <laughs> Instagram star, <laughs> and the person who always ends every video by saying, and shove it in your mouth. Oh, <gasps> love. Love, love, love. I love that a part about you. Okay, what is this? What are we making? We're Tell making us. banana snickerdoodle cookies. I always think of the word snickerdoodle uh-huh. like, it sounds somehow politically incorrect. It sounds like a slur. It, it sounds does. like it a does. slur. It like does. if you call someone a snickerdoodle, don't do it. But the cookies are fine. The cookies are fine. Just don't. Use I feel like the it's, world a, it's like word. it's like a, a, a term for gay people. It really <laughs> me does. Me too. Feel like, it's like, I like oh wait, called... did you just microaggress me and call me a snickerdoodle? Yes. All right. Well. But we're gonna make delicious snickerdoodles. Okay. So how do you do it? You cream. Cream. Or what? So we'll start it in your beautiful mixer. All right. So two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter. One cup of granulated sugar. Okay. Delicious and a half cup of brown sugar. Right. All right, so now two ripe bananas. Ripe, it has to have, if it doesn't have spots, this is gonna be what I look like at the end of the summer. <laughs> From Fire Island? Literally. When I was a kid, my, 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 my aunt, Deanne, had like the only gay friend that I, I came, I never came in contact with a gay man except this friend, uh-huh. Michael. And they used to talk about F Island. They were going to F Island. Do they still call it F Island? They do not. They do not, but you should. You should go, oh, darling, we're going to F Island. F it would be Island. so chic. I love it. You should it. make that happen. Can we make F Island, please? So you're going to mix all that up together. You're gonna, so you're creaming the butter, the banana, and, and both sugars. sugars. Exactly, all Interesting. together. Interesting. I like and that you're creaming. And that's how you really incorporate the banana. OK. You want your butter room temperature, but people oftentimes, especially in the summer, they let it get, if like you leave it out on the counter, it's gonna be much warmer and softer than room temperature because oh. we want it to like still cream and get nice and fluffy. If you were like, um, you know, someone from America's Test Kitchen, you would like temp the butter. I'm like a slutty it. version <laughs> of America's <laughs> right, Test exactly. Kitchen. Exactly, me too. Really, really. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said it. I am a slutty version of America's Test Kitchen. All right. Well, that's not exactly cream, No, darling. because the, the banana, you're always right. going to have the chunks, All right. but that's actually fine. Okay. That's the thing. This is a very forgiving. My recipes are very forgiving. I because you tell me to cream, but you, cre- you tell me to cream butter and, and sugar. I cream the shit out of it. Correct. Correct. Until it's literally like white. The whole you thing is just you white. You won't get that when you add the bananas All right. because of the okay. liquid, which All right. is Got totally okay. okay because the bananas are what is adding all of that wow. kind of And you lightness. just, he just cracked that egg right into that batter. It Which is very, me. it's very goyish because it you're is. supposed to do it into a bowl first. Of course you are, that's how I do it. <laughs> you know. So now you're, you're mixing by hand or I'm is that just- I'm just scraping to You're just scraping the bowl. Anything at okay. the bottom. I... And now we just dump the rest in. It's very easy. We have um, three cups of all-purpose flour. I always go by weight for my flour. It's the only okay. thing. I'm like, again, everyone's like, oh, metric. It's like, we're not in Europe, we're in America. Right. We're gonna use cups. But the flour, flour, it makes a big difference. It does? Okay. And I do a 135 gram cup. You then. lost me at metric. I don't even know <laughs> the difference. I swear to God. A teaspoon of baking <laughs> soda. Like it. Teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. Teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Nice. I like nutmeg. Always. And then two teaspoons of cream of tartar. And this is what gives it that really chewy texture of a snickerdoodle. Right. I love it. That's a Nicky snack sort of a <laughs> trick. That's a secret trick. The snickerdoodle trick. All right. All right, now really slow. Otherwise, yeah, exactly. Okay. I hate when it makes that little whiny noise. I'm always afraid it's going to just break down. I mean, I'm talking about this, not you. I mean, I, I do I'm too. I'm talking about the KitchenAid, not, I tend, not to, I tend to whine as I well. I tend to whine as well, especially in the kitchen. There you go. And we're good. Okay, so you still didn't mix the hell out of no, that. No, but this is like more so than I would with a cake. With a cake, right, typically- Right, with a cake, you do it by hand. I do it by hand. Me too, that's what I do. Here's yeah. the thing, like when you're my age and your husband is his age, which is 50, he's 10 years younger than me, Uh huh. you just don't do it as much because you get so fat. If you cook <laughs> a cake for two people and you eat a lot of the cake, you can't do it. So I haven't really been baking as much so, or cooking as much and it's really set. Like I used to wake up and like cook biscuits yeah, and yeah, muffins yeah. and things. I and still do that. I don't do that. But you're in New York. So the best part is, is like I just set things and I bring them and I give them to people and you become that kind of person. I'm a pusher. I'm a pusher. Well, I, I always think there the are things. razor blades and things that people like I have, you know, I'm like a really old person. I really think like, no, no, I'm not going to eat this because it's poison. It's good batter. Poisoned. Really? Okay. Delicious. You got the banana, you get everything. Mm. Mm. All right, this is gonna go into the fridge for mm. an hour. What about this fucking saran? Come oh, the really? Seal? The fucking no, no, saran no. wrap? No, you gotta get Sorry. What? 
That is so Try ridiculous. Is that ah. frozen? Yeah, it's the frozen, um, it's the frozen wow. sort of franchise of Saran Wrap. Capitalism right? really What's popping off. What's his name, this person? Olaf. Olaf, Olaf. exactly, Olaf. Olaf. Sounds like Let an antidepressant. Let it go, Olaf. Sounds like an antidepressant. Let it go, it's a. <laughs> All right, so now this has been an hour, right? Yes. Here we go. And the dough is nice and chilled. Yes, and it's gonna still be soft, but right. you just, you need that hour to, have to help the butter firm up a bit. Okay. All right, so I'm going to scoop three tablespoons, get it out, and I'm gonna do it right into some cinnamon sugar. So you coat the whole thing coat with cinnamon sugar. Coat the whole thing. Oh, ooh, delicious. And you always put in a, like a pinch of salt with Jake, the cinnamon sugar. Jake, darling, you know how to live. Oh my God. Give it a little roll and then right mm -hmm. onto our... Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> should I work? Should I? No, I guess it's one bowl. You do it. Could you just do it, I can please? do I can do it for you. Go Once on, I was on Martha Stewart's show and uh -huh. we were making something, it was some kind of thing like this, and she was doing the whole thing and I said, not a pinch of salt? Like that. No. She's like, oh, absolutely a pinch of salt, right? Absolutely. And they brought out the salt. Did I ever tell you this story? No, I And then we went to commercial and she said, who the hell forgot the pinch of salt <laughs> in this recipe? It was like something out of like Sue Ann Nivens. Remember I love Sue Ann it. Nivens? I it love that. It was so great. It's iconic. all true. It's all it's true. Iconic. It's all true. And that is why I particularly love Martha Stewart. All right, now how long does this go in for? Not long. Actually, let me even check. <laughs> I have a timer right here. One of several. Let's see. <laughs> and by the way, I have some of these in storage because these are the, really the only ones that work. Those don't even work. I don't know why I even use those, but I have a million of these. In, in, because you know they have timers that are like, I don't know what. This is battery operated. I can rely on this, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, that's I'll true. Have also have your phone. I know, but I do like, I don't need to know my phone. Set it for five minutes and then we're going to rotate. And do another okay, five. Fine. Perfect. Okay. See? The timer works. Now what do we do? I'm like just, rotate? Rotate. Look at those cookies. They're so beautiful. What sign are you, Jake? I'm a Capricorn. Are you? I'm a Capricorn, my husband's an Aries. That's a good thing. I, I, I I've heard. I don't know what any of it means, but I was telling someone, because like there's all the mysticism in Judaism too, so you have to know what your Hebrew birthday was. Because I forgot which exactly it was, but I was born on the 18th day of the month, so it was like 18 chai. Plus, it was right. a Friday, so it was Shabbos when I was born. Well, I was born on the Sabbath as well. There we go. Because you know, and by the way, then your apparently your middle name is um, always going to be Shabbat. Did you know that? I did Shabbat. Not. Your middle name Shabbat. But I don't have a middle name, and I don't. Do you? I do. What is it? It's Jake Daniel Cohen. Jake Daniel. Oh, that's funny. Is Jake short for Jacob? No, it's my, just Jake. My full name is Jake. That's like they 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 were they they born they bore you to have like a like a like a fitness <laughs> guru. Like we're gonna call him Jake. You know how Jakes are always they own they own gyms. It's yeah. Or a yeah. porn star. Listen, you know, hey, you maybe never, they, they, when they the thought, let's have a porn star and just name him Jake. When, Finished. When Not the Jacob cooking when the cooking gig drives out. Yeah, exactly. You never know. Right, you, right, never, right. you never know, darling. Maybe maybe you should uh and OnlyFans will be now you'll like the podcast will <laughs> exactly. pop off and it'll be like oh, Isaac Mizrahi OnlyFans. How do you say OnlyFans in Hebrew? Because you're that you're would be better than you're right. better. So Fire Island, really? Fire Island. I thing is, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. Yeah. Um, because this is our first year doing it. My while I was I was shooting and finishing my book last year, and my mm -hmm. husband like went off with because he got invited by some friends and he had mm -hmm. such a great time. It's like this year we're doing it. And I was like, sure. So you have a share? I have a quarter share. Oh. Mainly it's like all it's all gay Jews. Right, okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I have this little Shabbat group. Right. And you lost me at Shabbat. No, you're okay. gonna have to come. I'm now. not coming you to, have a to come. You have to come. Okay. And it's right. and it's the most it's the fun it's like such a fun group of Jews. Okay. It's like it's Judy Gold and Oh well, and, I love and Judy Gold. Pasek Judy and I are and all like, like old friends. Love, 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 love. <gasps> and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're looking good. Oh my those are gigantic. I'm sure you've heard that before. <laughs> those are really oh, huge. Those are so big. Amazing. <laughs> There was a time when one of my best friends, Sandra Bernhard, not to drop names, okay, yes. but she was into Kabbalah for a minute, or maybe she's still into Kabbalah, and so was Madonna at the time, and so was, you know, Bette Midler, and so was all these people, and they used to have these meetings, and I was like, Sandra, 
don't even get me started. That's one thing you'll never get me to. And finally, she got me. Do you need a rack? No, you want to cool them on a rack? On okay. Thing. Just saying, you don't want to cool them on a rack. <laughs> anyway, so I went to a meeting once. Okay. With Madonna and all these people. And, you know, someone said, oh, you know, Rabbi, what is the meaning of life? And uh -huh. he actually told them what, I was like, can I really? <laughs> and I was sitting with Bette Midler and we were looking at each other like, really, this guy's going to tell us the meaning of life? What a it service. It was so ridiculous. It was ridiculous. All ridiculous. right, so you're coming for Shabbat. That's fine. All I'll right, well, I guess But that was so. a thing. If Judy's was, there, I'll Judy's come. there. Judy, we're going we're gonna to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. We just were in um, All right. Tel Aviv together. Well, she has, she, 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 she's obsessed with this one guy on Instagram that she can't bear this cooking person. Don't, 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 no, no. don't leave him. But, yes. well, she texts but she sends she texts me things she, all day. Yes, and yes. I'm like, she darling, hates, you have to hates. unfollow this person. Why are you following him It's a hate follow. It's a hate follow. It's a hate follow. It's a hate follow. I also hate this person. <laughs> well, I also hate this person, so I don't follow them. Yeah. I don't follow them. Yeah, no, no, no. But she follows them. She, Do yes. you hate follow this person too? No. Well, you see, I don't hate follow them. No. Look at your beautiful cookies, darling. There we go. How long do they have to cool before we can eat like them? Like a minute. One Good. minute? They're already there. <gasps> yes. Delicious. Oh, I might let that cool for more. No, oh. look at the steam coming out of that. Yeah. <gasps> see, it's like fluffy. Wait, and shove it in my mouth, darling. Period. Mmm. 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 Mm. And delicious. so easy. You see? Come together in no time. Mm -hmm. The texture. Mm. I love the texture with banana. Really good. 